Kyle Anderson, and I've been in the fire department. I'm on my 17th year now. How did you get interested in this? Um, I really wanted to help people in a more personal way. I was working at a bank, and it really wasn't fulfilling that totally, and I wanted to do something more physical. And I wanted to be able to look back and say, I made a difference. I always tell people, you're never going to get rich in this job, <laughs> but I think the other rewards fill in the gap. And certainly, physically, you can get pretty beat down. And I just had a captain that retired, and he was, he had about three or four joints that were done. So, although he was only 53, I think his body was more like 73. I kind of, I compare it with the NFL, where these linemen retire and they can barely walk and they say, I would do it again. And I think it's the same type of thing where we love the job enough to where we, we realize that any day, and I've told my, my family this, if I get hurt or killed in the line of duty, remember, I chose this profession and I knew the risk going in. So don't, you know, not so much don't feel sorry for me, cause, but don't think it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted to serve. I, I want to make sure that when I leave here, and I've, I've given you know, my body to the job for 30 years, um, and, and missed family events, missed being at home for 30 years, I think one of the rewards would be to have a, to have a pension. And most of the people I talk to in the community you know, are, think, oh, you guys, what you do, you guys and girls deserve, you know, a, a set benefit, you know, because you, you're in harm's way. And, and I think you're always going to run into some people that say, well, the pensions are, are killing the economy. Well, you know, I think uh, that wasn't the case up until a few years ago. So that's kind of interesting that all of a sudden now pensions are killing the economy because uh, uh, if they're paid into, and, and we pay over 7% into our retirement plan, uh, that's before the other FICA and Social Security, you know. So we pay into it. So it's not like we're not funding our own pensions. And um, but I, I really I want to I want to feel that when I leave this career, I have the memories of of the guys and girls and and the the, the camaraderie we had, all the people we helped, and uh, making a difference in the community, and then at least being able to retire no matter what bumps and bruises you have and injuries, at least you're taken care of, you know, and, and you're not, and if you, if you have a, if, if people don't have a retirement, that's, they end up being a drain on the system, you know, so that's the whole thing, you cut pensions out, and then you have people that say, well, I don't have any, I don't have any money, you gotta help me. I don't wanna be that person, that I wanna be productive while I work, and not be a drain when I leave. So I think paying into a pension is a reward on both ends. I think pensions can be a convenient scapegoat for economic problems. You know, New Jersey had an issue where they didn't pay into their pension for 17 years. Well, is that is that the firefighters' fault? It, of course not. But you know, it, it, any excuse will work sometimes. And unfortunately, it's caught. There's a ripple effect. You know, and that's why in 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 Virginia here we're worried because there's been issues with the retirement and although. Fairfax County is a different retirement system. You, it's it's spreading throughout all the political parties because people have have gotten the idea that it's a good idea to get rid of pensions. And I was I was in Phoenix for a con uh, conference and I I said I said to I said to a guy who was giving a presentation on pensions. I said, "How come this worked for my grandfather and his father? You know, this these pensions worked for years and years. How how come all of a sudden now?" they're this draining on the, the economy. So I don't think that really makes sense. And we have a joke in the fire department that we don't have economists in the fire department. We have guys and girls that can work with their hands, that are good at dealing in emergency situations, but they're not stock investors, save a very small amount that read their money magazines. But I, I know something about it, but I am not an expert by any means. So should I be investing all my own money? I don't, I don't trust myself in that area. <laughs> I'd rather have a defined benefit for me and my family.